I guess, what would you like to be called? I'm joined by uh, Eva Angelina, who's in town for the Avian Awards. Do I call you a porn star? I suppose, you know, I shoot porn, and you know, I've been around the business for almost five years, so I think I could be called a porn star now. Is that what you would prefer? Sure. Okay, <laughs> okay. now, uh, um, I, I must say, obviously, you're extremely attractive. Uh, you're of Cuban, Chinese, Irish, and English descent. Uh, how does that happen? I mean, that's amazing. <laughs> Um, I guess um, my mom is, is Cuban and Chinese, and she um, told me a while back that I guess her dad got on the wrong boat and ended up in Cuba and just stayed there. What? <laughs> is that right? Yeah, that's what she told me, so unless she's lying, I don't know. Well, I mean, you can tell that the, uh, the Chinese kind and the Cuban co co combination definitely shows through in the face, so mm -hmm. um, obviously very easy on the eyes. Now, yeah, your history, you mentioned you've been in for, for about five years. It's, it's interesting because uh, as I look at uh, information regarding you, 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 want, you, you always knew that you wanted to do this, is that correct? Mm -hmm. How? Why? Um, well, I was always um, sexually expressive growing up, and um, I got a hold of my parents' um, handy cam at a really young age, so kind of just knew that I wanted to do it, and, and it was just a matter of time of doing it legally. And I was preparing my dad it's like, yeah, I want to shoot for Playboy when I grow up, this and that. He's like, oh, just don't do anything you're going to regret later. <laughs> so you started making porn videos when you were 13? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's early. Yeah. What what age What age did you, uh, I guess, lose the V card? At 13. At 13, huh? Yeah. And right away you're just like, I have to get into this. Yeah, I just loved it. I did not have like that, that traumatizing like first experience. That, you know, because th that's, I guess, what uh, everybody asks, I, I would think, normally is, well, okay, give me the background. You were, you know, you were uh, molested, I guess, as a, no. a five-year-old, stuff like that. That never happened. I just got never it naturally. Happened. Never happened. And, and your parents are comfortable with you doing this? Yes. Are they in town for the awards show? No. <laughs> w would you ever want them to be in town for the Avian Awards along with you? I um, bought my dad because he's just really cool, but like, I don't know if he could handle it. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you <laughs> so many hot girls and stuff, you'd be like, oh my god. <laughs> it's like, I love my daughter's job. <laughs> uh, let me ask you this then, okay, uh, because, you know, I like to dabble once in a while, late at night when I'm home by myself. I was downloading something like uh, College Frat House or something like that, you know, whatever it was. And a girl looked into the camera, and she said this. Okay, I'll do that again. She said this. Could you ever do that? Uh, I think I have. You have? <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, oh, man, i got to tell you, to me as a parent, if I ever saw that, I don't know how I'd respond. Well, it's actually kind of funny that you say that, that you bring up the parent thing, because um, um, when I actually like found my first job, it was actually a, an, an ad in the OC Weekly, and it said, do you want to shock and awe your parents? Call this number. And it ended up being Shane's role, and it was a college invasion thing. So, really? Yeah. <laughs> and so that was listed like uh, two pieces of furniture. Call this number, and then underneath that, shock your well, parents. Well, they had like an adult employment section, like right. class my section. Right. So I was like, okay, obviously. <laughs> Mitch Moss here on ESPN Radio 920. My guest is Eva Angelina, who's up for uh, at least three individual awards, mm -hmm. correct, tomorrow night at the Mandalay Bay for the 25th Annual Avian Awards. I gave away tickets to this uh, show tomorrow night. Uh, yesterday, actually, I gave them away, and people were going bananas over these things. You're up for Best Actress, yes. uh, Best Solo Scene, mm -hmm. Best Group Scene, and also um, this movie, Operation Desert Stormy, is up for Best Comedy. Yeah. Now, what is this? Is this like porn bloopers or something like that? I um, mean, it's just kind of basically another way of entertaining, I guess. You know, also just doing comedy and, and laughing while you're... You know, being excited. <laughs> so, best actress, huh? Mm -hmm. you, you really gave it your all in uh, some of these scenes, huh? It was like therapy. <laughs> really good. So, it, what is it called? You're up for the Oscar, basically, of the AVX? Basically, yeah. It's like the Oscar award show of, of adult movies. And and it's um, to be to be um, a nominee for that category was really important because I, I always wanted to be a, like a performer in main, a performer in mainstream movies and stuff, and actually did like a lot of the training when I was a kid. So to be able to get a nomination for that, I was like, hey, the training like paid off. <laughs> How many um, big names are you up against for that award? Oh my God, there's the thing is there's so many d different like so many nominees in the one category uh -huh. that I think it's like. 
probably like 10, 15 people on, on one for my really? category. Yeah, so oh, it's wow. like, thanks for narrowing it down, guys. <laughs> you know? well, what would be your reaction? What do you think the reaction is going to be if you actually win? If you, I you win? Get teary -eyed? Um, yeah, just because I've been working like the last like five years for for that moment, you know, and this is like the first year that I've ever been nominated for an AVN award. Uh, I have to be honest now, you're known for um, shooting with uh, your glasses on. Yeah. And I'm a major fan of that, by the way. <laughs> I'm sorry to you, bring you don't have on. You don't have on right now? I have contacts now? on right now. Um, uh, a couple weeks ago we were in Vegas and we had um, a bunch of my friends and I had driven up here and of course when I asked them to check the rental car for all the stuff that we were when we were checking it in, um, they left my glasses and door panels. So I'm like, okay, so I had to go get like a, like an emergency pair of contacts. Of course you do, right? <laughs> uh, by the way, for the AVN Awards tomorrow night again at the Mandalay Bay, you can still get tickets at Ticketmaster.com. Um, some of the presenters, uh, great Simmons, comedian, he's going to be hosting along with Tara Patrick. She's a legend in this business. Mm -hmm. uh, also on hand will be Jenna Jameson, Stormy Daniels. So a lot of the bigger names, obviously, for this award show, as they yeah. always are, they're going to be on hand tomorrow night at the Mandalay Bay. Yeah. Very cool. Um, now. As I'm uh, reading again uh, on your bio, it does point out that, um, I just wanted to mention this briefly, that your boyfriend, uh, Dan Beard, committed suicide back in 2004, shortly after you returned to the porn industry. Yes. Obviously, that still probably is if any, with you. If, yeah, of course. I think about him like almost every day, yeah. without a doubt. It's just, if anything, his death was an inspiration to like do well in this business, and you because know, that's what he wanted me to do. He wanted me to... to to take part in what I love doing, and you know, he just couldn't deal with that, and you know, chose to, to go and and in order for me to to do what I, what I wanted. And if anything, he, I'm grateful for for his sacrifice. And and even though it's cr it's like a crazy one, but it definitely has motivated me. It's inspired me to do my my absolute best in this business. So you were 18 when that happened. I was 19. 19. Then. Have you dated since? Yes. You have. You have a boyfriend right now. Um, yes. <laughs> you do. Why, why you say that with some sort of uh, trepidation? Emma? Oh, you're engaged. I'm married now. You're yeah. married now. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I got married here in Vegas three weeks ago. Really? Yeah. Well, congratulations. That's Thank the age you. of 22, huh? Yeah. Wow. How long have you known the guy? Nine months. Does he work in the industry as well? Yes, he does. He does. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, what, it was uh, love at first scene, I guess? Actually, you're, <laughs> you're like calling all the shots here. Yeah. Um, really? I proposed to him the day I met him. Um, the day after, after, the day after a 45 minute session? It, it, literally, it was, I, I still had, you know, we had just finished doing the scene, and um, I just proposed them just come to America and marry me. Really? The first day I met him, yeah. Where's he from? England. Is that right? Yeah. Well, he was that good in the, in, in the sack that you said, I have to be married to you. Yeah. Get out of here. 